And five miles off of Florida's coastline sits the Florida Barrier Reef, the third largest in the world. But today, it is nothing like it used to be after decades of overpollution, overfishing, ocean acidification, and now rising sea temperatures. However, there is a science based rescue plan. Air's on, good to go. Justin Lansford lost a leg and nearly his life when a bomb exploded underneath him in Afghanistan. The way you look at things, the way you look at life drastically changes. Five years later, he's helping save the life of Florida's dying barrier reef. Scuba diving with his prosthetic leg and keeping his state of mind above the surface. It gives me a mission, it gives me a purpose. And even if it's coming down here for a day and doing it, it feels good to do something and accomplish something. Whether you're ready. He and a dozen other wounded warriors with the Combat Wounded Veteran Challenge are working with Moat Marine Laboratory on a novel effort to take pieces of staghorn coral grown in their own undersea garden and replant them on bleached out damaged reefs. Over time, a whole new coral colony of the threatened species will blossom, supporting the marine ecosystem and the multi billion dollar fish related economy. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the oceans. If we lose the coral reefs, we'll lose the oceans and we lose the very oxygen that we breathe. It's a way for us to continue to serve in a different capacity for the betterment of the nation. So for the veterans, they get great therapy out there undersea, and also for the marine scientists, they get the free labor, so everybody's happy. During yesterday's dive, they planted 500 little baby pieces of staghorn coral, but the scientists admit in the big picture, there are still millions to go.